John Gill's exposition of the Bible, text, and Moses spake unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar and unto Itamar, his sons that were left, take the meat offering that remaineth of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy, Leviticus 10, 12, Commentary, And Moses spake unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Itamar, his sons that were left, of the burning, as the Targum of Jonathan, who survived his other two sons that were burnt, who remained alive, not being concerned with them in their sin, and so shared not in their punishment, take the meat offering that remaineth of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, for all but the handful that was burnt of that kind of offerings belong to the priests, see Leviticus 6, 14-18, this meat offering, according to Jaki, was the meat offering of the eighth day, that is, of the consecration, or the day after it was finished, on which the above awful case happened, Leviticus 9, 17, and also the meat offering of Nashan the son of Ammonadab, of the tribe of Judah, who offered his offering first at the dedication of the altar, on the day the tabernacle was set up, which he supposes was on this day, see Numbers 7, 1, 10, 13. Now these meat offerings were not as yet eaten, and which may be true of the first of them, wherefore Aaron and his sons, notwithstanding their mourning, are bid to take it, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, the altar of burnt offering in the court of the tabernacle, as directed, see Gil on Leviticus 6, 16, for it, is, most holy, and so might be eaten by none but holy persons, such as were devoted to sacred services, and only in the holy place, as follows, within hangings, where the most holy things were eaten, as jarki, that is, within the court of the tabernacle, which was made of hangings, 